Hello, this is Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas, and I'm here to t have another Todd talk. You know, it's been a, there's been a lot of news lately about autonomous driving vehicles, and I want to want to talk with you today. And I've brought a special guest, Mr. Steve Sison, who actually has some special insight on on autonomous driving vehicles. And uh, Steve, I want to ask you because it's been in the news a lot that. You know, if you if you read the newspapers that we're getting ready to be inundated with autonomous driving vehicles that the driver of the vehicle can put their car on autopilot and throw uh, throw everything else away. Are we there yet? I don't think we're there yet, and I'm not sure that we want to be there. Why is that? Because um, if you think about it, you know, there's a lot more traffic down here on the ground than there is in the air. Even airplanes that have autopilots have pilots sitting there that can take over the controls when the autopilot screws up because the autopilot screws up. The autopilots fail. And the same thing is going to happen with autonomous driving cars. We know that because we all have personal computers, or most of us do, and every time you start up your personal computer, you have that, or you may have that evil beach ball of death that tells you that it's not starting up right. And you have to reboot it and start all over again. And you have to reboot it and start all over again. And if you have a computer failure in an autonomous driving car, then it's going to crash. And it could crash into head-on traffic. It could crash onto park, into parked cars. And they've already had crashes with these self-driving cars. You know, I've always, uh, I've always thought of it this way. We will be ready for autonomous driving vehicles when we develop a TV remote that works 100% of the time. What's your thought on that? Well, I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> I mean, my TV remotes don't work most of the time. And so I think, and you think of how simple it is. Um, you know, when you're dealing with safety systems, the most important thing with regard to a safety system is the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. And when you're dealing with something like an autonomous driving car, you're getting into incredible complication. It's got to have the capability of seeing cars in every direction. It's got to have the capability of seeing pedestrians. It's got to have the capability of avoiding kids darting off for the sidewalk. Now, I want, and I want to take you to that example. When an autonomous driving vehicle is driving down the road, and I want to take you to a comparison. A person driving down the road, a child darts in front of it, what does the person that's driving the vehicle do? Well, they normally try and steer and brake. What does an autonomous driving vehicle, what is it programmed to do? Well, so far, at least, they're programmed to just slam the brakes on. So there's no evasive action turning to the left or turning to the right on the vehicles that are on the road today that are autonomous? Not so far. Now, maybe they will do that, but obviously the difficulty with uh, pedestrian dart outs or crossing vehicles is it's unpredictable where they're gonna go next.